but let's say there was a minor mistake still. Like that's usually going to happen somewhere like in the fingers when you have a bunch of bones close to each other. It's going to work, but something that's sticking out is going to mix and match the bones. So in order to fix that, you want to have to do some weight painting. And this is pretty much how easy it is. Select your model that you want to like adjust. Select the bones. Uh, nope, nope, I did that wrong. All right, first of all, select the bones and then select the model and then we go to weight paint. All right, so now on this particular item, we are in the hybrid mode which we, we can weight paint and we can also move the model if you press control and select a bone and now press G you can actually move said bone and the model moves around so here I don't see any particular area. All right, so here we can see that this bone has a little bit of control over this little area. If I remove, it deforms that little section. This guy. Can't seem to find the one has... All right, um, hmm. let me do something stupid and attach this to that bone so we can kind of play around with it. We're going to go to our tools and here's a major issue you might have. In order to copy whatever you do to one item into the next item, do not go to symmetry and press mirror. This does something else entirely. What you want to do, let's get rid of that symmetry, is have this two with X mirror will actually do what we want to do will copy whatever we do to one side and transfer it to the other side. We also want to have this one auto normalize. And this pretty much is going to do is um, help you when you do your weight painting, which is not going to be um, go out of whack. So just pretty much make sure you have those two click together and pretty much select that one. In order to select your um, brush, you can press right click on anywhere in the away from the model, and you have your weight of the your, um, uh, brush. You only want to have two settings here that you want to adjust for your weight. It's either going to be a full one or a full zero. So one is going to be, yes, it's going to be adding weights, and zero means it's none. 
So there's no need to have something in between. It's either yes or no. Now, this the strength is we're gonna determine how much of the weight is gonna be transferred. So you want to have a 100%, for instance, I'm going to get rid of the weight out of this and transfer it over here, there. So 100% of whatever I click got transferred into that weight and that's no longer attached to there. So as we can see that here and here is what we want to have the x mirror is doing the exact same thing to this item and this another thing you want to do is to have this set up uh, kind of in a weird angle so you can see what um part of the mesh it's not attached to the bone that you wish to have it attached Let's say this is where we started and we want to fix this. So this belongs to this bone. So when you go control, click that one. And you want to transfer it back. All right. So you select all the little dots that are in space. See if you can actually get them. Shift your pan around. Okay, so press G. And as we can see, this isn't quite what we want, all right? Because now they're attached to a bone, and this is the IK bone. So this is not ideal. Because you're going to be moving this one, it's going to be stretching the skin. So most likely, these guys are attached to this bone. Now, the way I like to do this, I want to have this one like um, from 20 to 30 percent. If I want to like gradually blend in, for instance, in the joint from taking this control over that one. This particular instance, I just want to like have it all. Okay, so I'm going to transfer that one. All right, so that's 100%. I'm going to grab this bone. And I want to grab all of this. All right. So this is where I do my like 25% and kind of blend it in from one to the other. Okay, and we know that 
this particular bone has a little bit of influence whenever the toes flex so we can just give them back level four so pretty much it you control click a bone and select your um way preference go to another one and pretty much in the joints make sure they have a decent blend so as for brushes go you pretty much only want these two the draw brush is going to be uh, giving you some paint and the other one is going to uh, pretty much blur it out so you're gonna since this one's kind of harsh so you can kind of blend it in and what's happening here is because this one we can put this you can kind of transfer a couple of weights down to that one so we can just cancel that and So our strength is too low, we can increase it. And we can actually, there we go. So now, control click. Our leg should be pretty much some um, have the weight transfer the way you want to so we can go back to object mode oh, let's um, reset her posture select all press R and G and she's back to her normal position go to object mode and here I would like to either save a copy or pretty much save just in case once in a while MMD will crash once you start playing with your export settings.